What is going on guys? It's Sook and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, of course, I will be bringing you my benchmark tests of the 13 inch 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. And if you guys haven't seen it already, I have already benchmarked the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Now you can click the card in the top right corner to go and watch that. But without any further ado, let's hit the tiles. <laughs> Now just like I've done with previous benchmark tests, I've compiled a table with all of the results. And the first test that I did conduct was a 64-bit Geekbench 4 test, which gave me a single core score of 3951 and a multi-core score of 7693. Next up I did conduct a 32-bit Geekbench test which gave me a single core score of 3393 and a multi-core score of 6762. The next benchmarking application that I did run was GFX Bench Metal which is a benchmarking application which is used to test the graphical performance using a number of different tests. Instead of showing you guys the individual scores for each of the tests, I've created an average of all of these tests together to give you the scores for the higher level and lower level tasks. And as you see, for the higher graphical intensive tasks, we did get an average FPS readout of around 107 FPS. And as you see, with the lower graphical intensive tasks, we got an average FPS readout of around 126. The next benchmark application that I did run was once again from GFX Bench, this time testing the OpenGL performance. Once again, like the previous application, you do get a score for the higher and lower level graphical intensive tasks. You do also get a FPS readout for tasks conducted on screen and off screen. For the higher graphical intensive tasks that were performed on screen, we got an average FPS readout of around 43, whereas with the lower, we got a readout of around 54. Whereas for the tasks that were conducted off screen, for the higher intensive tasks, we got an average FPS reader of around 57, whereas for the lower, we got an average of around 66. Now, as you see, the next test that I did conduct was to check how fast the SSD is in this MacBook Pro. And as you do see, I did get a write speed of around 1297, whereas on the read side, I got a reading of around 2811. The next test that I did conduct was a NovaBench benchmark test, which gives a score depending on aspects of the system, such as the CPU, the GPU, and even the RAM. The next benchmark application that I did run was Cinebench R15, which gave me an OpenGL score of 33.5 frames per second, whereas on the CPU side, it gave me a score of 342 CB. Now the final test that I did conduct was to see how fast Final Cut Pro would export a 4K video file. And as you do see, the time taken to export this file was close to 3 minutes 30 seconds. So guys, that's been it for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you smack that like button. And if you did love it, then make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified when I upload my next video. If you have got any questions or queries, then go ahead and hit me up on my social media and add me up on Snapchat to see live behind the scenes footage. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.